Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylix. Perfect. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Um, so it's been a short-ish amount of time. I'm pretty fresh up on on where I'm supposed to be going, uh, and I really wanted to finish this. I think this should even come out like the day after. The day after yesterday, because I usually like to double dip if I'm going to be doing something like um, getting to the finale. Sometimes that's good to get done with a, a long ass LP, like something that is like hours and hours and hours. But for what I'm currently involved in, uh, it's also just nice to finish a short one, you know? The song is fantastic, by the way, and I've heard no one talk about this song. Because everyone talks about Xeno Arcadia, which is, I, th I think it's the song that plays during the, um, the platforming sequence. Like, there's probably about a hundred Hylix memes of just, like, when Xeno Arcadia hits. And like, you know, it's not that that's not fair, but. Hylix memes are pretty, uh, shall I say, undersampled. Okay, should get ready to write, damn it. Oh, check this out. Uh, my wife painted my nails. They're a nice green color. She also painted her nails. Machi machi. Lean in, you're on here. Oh. Hi. My hair is not done. <laughs> <laughs> Neither is mine. I rolled out of bed and I brushed all the Dorito crumbs off my chest and I was like, <laughs> shit, I've got to record. <laughs> oh. That's what I said. <laughs> the idea that I'm that gross is... Like, it's so funny to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's this. Ugh. Yeah. Comes off like margarine. Nice. Got the slap bonus. So I don't remember if I've been over here. Alright. Who has to go? Do I recognize this thing? Courtier. Yes, you, you're you going. Courtier has to die. And then probably nonconformist. Uh, this, this shield has to come down. <laughs> um, why not just heal? I love this animation so much, dude. Nice. By the way, I've been telling everyone to play this game, and first and foremost, you should, but also, if you play this game, play it with headphones. The sound design is so good. You don't want to miss out on it. I've been doing a lot of episodes without headphones just because I'm like, I need to record and I need to be aware of stuff. But like, damn, it sounds good, you know? Let's heal you because I want to do I want to do another lightning. I want to see if I can take out the uh, the big dog. Let's see if we can't get through some of you as well. Oh right, he's uh, buffed. I should have. Uh, yes, that's on me. That's my fault.
Okay. Now let's, um... Wait, who is that? Sorry, I'm a dummy. Don't mind me. I know not what I was doing. The damage is so big. See, I don't think I've finished coming over here. So does that... Does Grapeshot do more damage to people who are, um... Defending? Death or glory. Because Wayne has gotten... Wayne has been defending every time, and every time he's gotten more damage, not less. Which you'd think would be kind of weird, considering. Nice. Again, I feel like I, I've kind of expended how much money I could possibly, like, need. And I still have more, so I kind of wish that I could buy meat. So let's see here. Chast. Good, another multi soul sponge. Rut row. Hey, so I died in that fight, uh, but as it happens, I just happened to come over here. I don't know if there is supposed to be something here, but I am seeing more of these, like, weird tendril guys. But yeah, I dropped off my meat and I went up above and I dived off the top because I haven't done that in a while. And I found that burrito, which I hadn't before. So I don't know if I missed that or if that's always there. Or what. But yeah, again, I'm really feeling the uh, lack of, like, good recovery. I should head to the, um... TV island at some point. Well, charge up is doing a lot for me. And like, yeah, maybe it could be doing better, but like I'm often killing in one with um my one thing. I don't know. The fact that like fast travel is just that like difficult to use. Cuz like if it was just a thing of like Like, even if the fast travel just brought you back to the same pool, I feel like it would be better. Because, no, don't do this to me. Oh, boy. Be like, if when fast traveling, I went back to the pool like when diving in instead of going to the beach every time traveling would be would happen so much faster and would be so much less of a problem for me Ah, oh, I totally got that slap off though. Whatever. Like not getting a slap off feels like so disadvantageous that like I feel like I want to just restart right now. Like I feel like the slap lets you like get a heal off as well. Wayne and Dennis Moln's no speeds are really affecting them poorly here. So who's going to catch this? Probably foliated. Maybe we should switch what, um, some Snona has. 
with what uh, with what Pangorma has because Pangorma going first is not as like advantageous for me, you know. So does a charged heal do anything? Because if this does more than like a hundred, nah, not really. Just snap that fool. Interesting that his, like, super high speed lets him just attack twice. So, let me see here. How many antennas do I have? I have 29 antennas. Uh huh. More just weirdo useless stuff. Damn it. This is like way too hard to like do, you know? Damn it. The fact that the entire party is, like, covering me is also kind of annoying. Like, it is more realistic that you get to see the whole party. Okay. Same one's blind shop. Oh. Now that's not buying meat, but you know what? I'll take this. I will take the hell out of that. Um, hmm. I really want Wave Artifice to do some work for me, you know? Something tells me I might not find anything over here, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Well, we're getting to the peak at least. I learned that you can zoom in, by the way. Wow, you like fall. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go drop off my antennas then. I just noticed that I've been recording this whole time. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Hey, charge up's power increased to 84. That's cool, though. Bring more antennas to do it. All right, and I'm back in here because I didn't explore this uh, well enough. Oh, boy. Oh, 
Oh, that was... I ruined it. I botched it. That's unfortunate. So from here, where do I go? Like here? Yes. Okay, cool. This is new. This looks like a fish cracker, you know? Damn. So we now have, um, I switched, I, as promised, switched those around, and now Sam Snowden is going fast. And Pangorma is going, oops, less fast, which is good. She didn't need to go that fast. Or he didn't. Oh, man. Cool. So let's see if this, because I, I want, um, nice. Killed it in one. I, I like having, um, some sort of having more power because it means that I don't have to worry as much. That did normal damage, so the only thing that I can think of is that Wayne was defending the other times. Damn it, not again. Yeah, I really have no idea what Data Smold's niche is supposed to be. I feel like he's probably supposed to be a, like, healer. But he doesn't have a lot of MP, so who knows. Let's do another one of these, then. Yes, perfect. That's just what I wanted. Literally just what I wanted. Cool. This might kill him in one. Wow. It's not at all what I was expecting. Coolio. So earlier I, uh, I mean, I have to edit it out now, so I should probably just edit some reference to it anyway. But I mistakenly, uh, didn't hit the pause button on my recording. Struggle noise, a vital mirror. Ductile habit. That's pretty good. Um, she already has something really solid. So do you. You have something boring. I want to put this on Pangorma. Because Pangorma can keep doing it. Like, Pangorma can keep running his cool thing that he can do. Uh, more times than Stomps Nona, so I want him to be able to stay alive longer. Oh, hey, and we're here. Ugh. The lower reservoir is now drained. Oh, interesting. Cool. Hello? Thank you. So the lower reservoir, huh? Does that mean we go back to the same area?
Because lower makes me think of this. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. We relieved the pressure. I've got enough bones for another organ fort. Or, um, psychic knuckle. Just 30 power. Nothing wrong with that, just a flat 30 power. All right, now where are we? Burrito, cool. Should we look up here? Chest, tarp. Nothing good happens on the tarp. Uh, no negative statuses. Interesting. Hmm. Well, he's already preventing some of those. And you've got... Uh, I don't even know if I want to put that on. The Oregon Fort has so many good numbers on it, you know? In an era, a ship vainly burns a machine. Okay, this looks like critical path. Let's go somewhere else, then. Oh, is this the uh, the thing that's draining as well? Cool. Upper reservoir is drained. Glands refuse to bungle its being, and that's just how it is. Cloud germ. This is a boss fountain, if I've ever seen one. It's found empty. Really? Why? Why put chests there if there's nothing in them? Oh, and that's that thing. Cool. I want to redrop down here because I feel like I didn't finish that area. I'll be honest, I have no idea how the inside of this like area works at all. So it's up here, I think. Maybe up here has that key. Another spiral staircase. Oh, did this go to the same area? There's another surety. Hello? Okay, so yeah. Okay, I kind of know where I am now. So the upper reservoir is drained, so that means that I should be able to pop down uh, to the same area I was in without getting washed away. And go to a cool new place, and I drop from there. Everyone stopped off. Data Simone's power is huge, oh my god. I'm going to put these back on you. And I'm gonna honestly I'm gonna put them on Pongo. The problem is is that like I feel like I don't know where people are supposed to be specced. But also, like, it's not like there's a lot of, like, super huge differences. Um, I don't think Data Smolen even has unique uh, abilities. I don't think Wayne does either. But maybe I've missed them. Right. I need to drop down into this hole up here. Miss that bone. Yeah, and I've got enough for another muscle applique. 
Oh, there's a burrito down here. Oh, there's many burritos down here. Uh, I've mentioned this in the past, but I do record in the same room as uh, I record in uh, the office in our apartment with my fiance and my fiance is currently doing homework and like I can only imagine what she's thinking just like, oh my God, I drained all this fluid away, all this strange underworld fluid and there's so many burritos down here. Ah, key. Oh, get it. Vessel room key, nice. So, where am I now? Aha, cool. Sorry, I just wanna be sure to be topped off. Dang it. All right, sorry, I fell in on that hole. I wanted to explain because otherwise it might be weird. All right, vessel room key. Have I talked to you? Not that it matters. Ah. Come on. Ah. Uh, so I that really. By the way, this really makes me wonder what exactly Gibby's even doing with. The underworld fluids. Yes. He's got like a... There's a Wayne bird. Behold the heart of the renewed Hylum Xylem. Fueled by the terrestrial juices, we will forge an improved zone. Gibby, emerge from that vessel. The Hylum Xylem was a failure. Only now does the accretion's long dark age begin to subside. I still don't feel like I know what the accretion is, but let's just roll with it. You were not even a larva when that prior Xylem formed. Had you witnessed it, you would not malign it so... I forgive you for destroying my satellite. From this world's matter, I'll produce a better one. And perhaps even allow you a space there. You'll mulch this entire zone? I just got the new range set up. So many artifacts hid remain hidden from us. You'd rob us the joy of uncovering them? Spare me your trivialities, Pongorma. You witnessed the... Pongorma, you witnessed the Empire of the Sages. Only through my work here can such grandeur be realized. Yeah, because in the first game they mentioned that Pongorma was locked away in that tomb. And was like... Let this guy out if it's for real out there. And Wayne was like, hey, it's for real out here. Get out here. And Pungarma was like, hey, we still got to have a boss fight. Alas, I've become habituated to this shabby planet. <laughs> I like that. Very well, there's no need for a verbal debate. I've bathed in terrestrial juices. Witness my omnipotence. Gimme! Oh, whoa. He's like totally janked up. Volatile product. Ugh, he's pouring juice on us. And it lets us in fire. That's... Oh boy, okay. The fact that he's wearing, like, a Wayne larva as a, as a crown is unusual. It makes me think that, like, he is supposed to be, like, a, uh, almost like a brother. So my theory is, is that even though this only deals 80% normal damage to all enemies, the two bonus attacks will make up the difference. Yeah, look at that. That's, like, triple damage. Summons minions. So that's how this is going to be, Gib, huh? You're going to lame it out? Reflexively summons minions. Oh, so he just does that whenever he gets hurt. They're made out of the same weird pieces that he is. That's unusual. Alright, wave artifice is going to be the move. Yo, this track is hot. Oh, I think Wayne's unique ability is, is poisoning, maybe. I feel like the Edismon doesn't have that.
Gizzard Spoom. Alright, Data Simone's next turn is going to be using items to refill some juice. Because we're actually doing pretty good damage. Progeny. Cloud Germ? Or no? Yeah. Nice. Multi-pack juice. Their health isn't huge, which is good. Tear down, huh? What is this attack? Another 150. Mandible, huh? Ah, but I was defending, you fool. Shield circle. Well, that is uh, less good. Hmm. Seriously, what is happening in this attack? <laughs> okay, I can do another one of these. Um, but you're gonna need to get hailed. Luckily, uh, Wayne and Datus one both have a bunch of health juice. Wow. The muscle applique is really doing work. Alright, let's hope that I can burrow through his, like, shield up. 75. Hmm. I'm kind of, uh, like, readying up for a phase two, because, like, I guess just snap Gib, right? I'm gearing up for a phase two because this seems pretty basic and normal. Killer trees? Oh, whoa, that's, uh-huh. Okay. That's sort of more what I was waiting for. Something like that. But he's not defending. So let's say, hey, go for glory. Make it happen, Wayne. I don't think we've seen this one before. The fact that there's all this negative space on that whole side of the screen is pretty interesting. Oh. Okay. 999 meat and bones. Nice. 
And is this thing gonna fall apart like last time? Are we gonna have to run out of it while it's exploding? Did everyone die in there? I mean, I don't really care about all of the Gibby minions. Oh. <laughs> Foolishly but intentionally traverse its coma. Near my season, the hand's hand hydrates that insect. One's hand is mine, but one sings the expensive color. Horribly putrefy spells that heedlessly regret chemical. You know, the solid idea as opposed to the glum season. Furniture show a solid person. Oops. Beat their double, refuse to receive another trouble. Grief jelly depresses a dome near our useless vessel. The decline to Vex Mini Fire. World thinly approaches our sum of their fine mini skeleton. They perceive the pendant face against my pendant floor. Surely calm olders that utterly drive hum. Totally tether works that heedlessly sustain number. And they come beside the corrosion, they understand circles clean above Ultra Spell. You don't traverse nerve. Beat your vessel and verily rehydrate vessel. You comprehend its gentle wheel is near the cinnamon face. Oh, those are the two bosses up there. In the ceiling, the totally fallen patch works my insect. You soak lit yet lament. I decline to impede vessel. It's the Wayne Lord. Skill cruelly considers my ship despite the wholesome skeleton. The fade hoists inside fade, vulnerably silent at a fire. Chemicals refuse to avenge the ship, I tell you. Chemicals horribly swat a crowd for a spreading beast plus. Spirit passion, the joyful doom. The fort to exhume this product impedes, but thinly destroys the son of cave. How long does this go? I feel like I should start mashing. Spells are just like... Like, sorry for mashing through these, but like, I have no idea how long this is supposed to go on. Oh, we have one of these as well. I mean, how many bosses were in this game? There were like four or five, right? Are we waiting on more to show up? Is this it? Our edgeoid spirit is not an augmented spell. Is this really all? One moment. Okay, this isn't it. You can stop. Possible Highlands Island annihilated, but I will gather my strength and perhaps a new force. Larthulvul, perhaps Trilzebor. I perceive now I was irresistibly compelled by Gibby's terrible power. You did as well as Venus could have hoped. Maybe someday you'll be old, Wayne. Freed from the influence, people will surely return to their natural for forms. 
Oh, are we in the afterlife? Do we sink? Again, how could the ending not be surreal? This is High Lakes we're talking about here. Okay. Okay. Cool. For those who have not seen my LP, the way that the first Hylix ends is that you go to a switch that you never flipped earlier in the game. And the only reason you didn't flip it was because someone told you not to flip it. But you go there, and the man has been crushed by falling debris after Gibby's palace was destroyed. Is that toothpaste? There's a toothbrush there, so I guess so. It's full of uh, terrestrial water. Does that mean something? Oh, he's finally blooming. And turning into a Wayne statue? Does that mean that every Wayne statue we found was also a uh, dead Datus mold? Some's known as golfing, I guess. With a baby Wayne as her caddy? Even though Wayne doesn't have babies, he has a larva. Playing with a Wayne head. <laughs> I do like this. It's not quite Donkey Kong uh, country levels of, of, like, yeah. But, like, I do like seeing all of the enemies in the end credits. I love seeing that. Huh. Have we ever seen Pungorma's Battle Sprite? <laughs> nice. The End. Developed by Mason Lindroth. With music by Chuck Salmona. Salmone. Hylix 2. All rights reserved. Well, it's good. It's definitely a good game. Um, I will say I didn't like it as much as the first one. I feel like it has a lot of really cool, interesting upgrades from the first one, but at the same time, those kind of lose me, you know? Like, the fact that I... Uh, it has a lot of cool stuff going for it, but, like, just the the... It loses its simplicity, and that's why I really feel like it loses me. Because, like, just the fact that it was... I mean, I've said all this before, but just the fact that it was an RPG Maker game that is, like, as simple as it gets. Like, RPG Maker is about as advanced as Final Fantasy 1 in terms of RPG combat. But, like, the way that they made it work and made it look cool and weird and still made it interesting just because it's so weird in and of itself was the strength of Hylix 1. Um, and I feel like this game really kind of missed out on some of that. The interesting ideas that it has, like platforming or doing a first-person dungeon are both cool, but are kind of implemented poorly um, and a little hard to understand. The dungeon in particular is, like, kind of unfun and really hard to look at, actually. Uh, but the uh, the airship is cool, and seeing the world in 3D is cool. It's not the same world as Hylix 1, I don't think. Um, but getting more 3D in it is cool. Uh, I... I, of course, am going to be interested in seeing Hylix 3, I think. When did this game come out? Uh, let me check the store page here. This was released 2020, so this is about a year and a half old from now. Um, and then I'm going to check when Hylix 1 came. That was 2015. So there was a five-year gap in between them. Uh, so it might be an even longer gap between one and two, 
But Mason Lindroth does have other games that you can go play if you like. Um, they're on his itch.io. Uh, and I've intended to play them for a while, which is why I have a Mason, like, which is why the Hylix me me like mega playlist isn't just called Hylix One and Two. It's called Mason Lindroth games. Um, and for those who don't know, the way that I organize the playlist on my channel is whatever the game is. Uh, if it's in a larger series, whatever that is. Um, and if it's in a bigger category for my channel in particular, I put it there. So for example, I have a boomer shooters, uh, playlist, which is where I play like strafe or marathon or quake or doom or any of the classic shooter games or games that feel classic. Like when I play doom 2016, that's going to go in there. I have souls like, so salt and sanctuary, dark souls itself. Um, the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order game that is like Star, uh, that is like Dark Souls. All the Souls likes go in there. I have a huge playlist for Rogue Likes, and I have a playlist for weird game, weird RPG games. RPG games is dumb. Don't mind me. Um, weird RPG stuff like um, Omori, The Witch's House. I haven't played it yet, but I intend to. Um, I played Mermaid Swamp, and that went in there. Anything that is made in RPG Maker or could have been made in RPG Maker goes in there. Um, and Hylix 1 went in there, obviously, and I'm gonna, and I put Hylix 2 in there just to fill it out. But then, um, just genre-wise, Hylix itself is a playlist, and Hylix 2 have a playlist, and then they share a playlist that's just called Mason Lynchoth Games. Oh, don't mind that. <clears throat> <clears throat> Whoops. Uh. <laughs> oh, man. But basically, uh, I'm going to play the other Mason Lindroth games. I might do that soon just because they're pretty easy. And like I said, I have way, way more time than I thought I did to play them after Hylix 2 ended faster than I thought. Because I thought I was going to need like at least 14 episodes for this. And I did it in, uh, in 11. So who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's Hylix 2. Still a great game. Definitely should buy it. If the $15 price is a little in for you, then wait for it to go on sale, or buy Hylix 1, which is only $3. Uh, you might buy Hylix 1 on Itch.io. I don't know if that supports the developer better, but I imagine that they might take less from their uh, less from their developers than Steam would, because Steam kind of has a monopoly on the market, so they don't need to you know, protect their guys. Uh, but yeah, that's been Hylix, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Um, I've been Alfred. I hope you all have a good day. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.